Hello traders, a fixed trader here today and I want to talk to you about the stock chart for SEEK, the directory.com incorporated which is an OTC pink, trade, pink sheets trade stock. So um, on this chart, I mean, clearly there was a giant breakout from 0003 to 0022, I mean that's about 633.33% gains. So huge, huge, huge gains here. Um, and it was a monstrous run, I know a lot of people on the message boards were talking about it. Um, and, for, and rightfully so, I mean, these gains lasted for days. So, big, big moves, big money made there. Um, the catalyst for this move, I believe, was the uh, company taking the time and money to get their stop sign removed on um, through the OTC markets with a letter from their attorney. Um, that and also several big newsletters went out from Diamond in the Rough stocks, uh, DITRstocks.com, uh, GoldMetalPennyStocks.com, and TopInvestmentAlerts.com. Um, there was also several other big ones. I think uh, Penny Stock Excellence went out. Um, there was there was definitely some big newsletters here. Um, so that could have also contributed to the buzz in, in this stock. But uh, lately, the stock price has come down pretty substantially from 0022 to 0009, um, where it seems to have been finding support here. As you can see, um, the 0009 level has yet to really break down. Um, it seems to be holding pretty well here, and um, it's been tested three times, so it seems to be a su substantial support line, and we're looking for that area to hold. Um, a lot of people that bought in uh, much lower, 0003, 0004, 0005, they're still enjoying huge gains here at 0009, so um, a lot of people are writing free shares from uh, down below this area, so there's still big profits um, being made here. And I feel like profit taking is a large reason of why this has come back down to consolidate. Um, but since this 0009 base has held, um, it could easily coil back up at this level, um, set a higher low, and continue to make a move from here. Um, and that's what we want to keep our eyes on is for the second little bounce here um, after this giant momentum play, um, because a lot of times those will happen. So another thing to look at on this chart here would be that I had mentioned a pinch play forming back here um, is where it started forming um, when the Bollinger Band started trading within the Keltner channels. Uh, now when the when the breakout from this pinch play actually occurred was right about here on this uh, huge day. As you can see the Bollinger Bands expanded outside of the Keltner channels again and that's what we call pinch play. Um, so again right now uh, at today, uh, today is actually Saturday, the 27th of July, 2013. We can see that the Bollinger Band is actually right about to come back down within the Keltner channels, um, which means we could be setting up for another pinch play inside this consolidation uh, range right here. And I mean, we saw the first time a nice 633% gain off that first pinch play. Um, would like to see that continue, especially if there's another huge fundamental catalyst um, coming out on this stock, which I'm not sure if there is, but you know, a lot of companies won't just pull off their stop sign for no reason. Um, you know, it takes time and money, so why would a company take that stop sign off for no reason? Uh, RSI wise, we had that uh, bearish crossover, the five period RSI crossed down below the 14 period RSI here. Um, this is the five period, this is the 14 period. We want to see. Um, or sorry, we still have this 14 period RSI between 50 and 70, so it's still technically in the buy zone. It just kind of reset, um, leveled out a little bit, and it looks like it's got plenty of room to move up from here. We just want to see this 5 period RSI cross back up above that, and that would be very bullish in terms of RSI. Um, we've seen volume kind of tone down, and um, we've tested this, since we've tested the support level at 0009 three times now, um, seeing this volume slow down here could mean the sellers are done and we're looking to take this back up soon. MACD still has that um, bullish crossover intact. We're just looking to see this stop spiking and instead even out or like round out at the bottom and start to curl back, back up. We want to see this stay above this white line here. Um, Akeem Dist and OBV is just kind of saying, you know, people are taking profits. Um, people are definitely taking profits. I mean, there was huge gains to be made at 633%. Um, you know, it, it'd be silly not to take those kind of gains. So Akeem Dist is, is, and the OBV are kind of backing that up that people are just taking profits here. Uh, the CMF is at 004, which um, it's not bearish, 
Uh, but point two is what we consider to be pretty bullish, and point four is what we consider to be extremely bullish. Um, and this is a accumulation indicator. So as you can see, um, which is backed up by the OBB and the accumulation disc as well as the CMF, there was massive accumulation back here um, during the run and even before it. So. Uh, we hit up to 0.8, which is, I mean, twice what I would consider to be extremely bullish in terms of a CMF. So, uh, massive accumulation, you know, some profit taking since then, but, you know, a lot of people got shares and they're still holding them. So, in order for somebody to sell shares, somebody has to be buying them, right? So, um, you know, those shares are still out there. A lot of people probably bought at higher prices from here, so they could be holding to look for profits or at least to get out even if they, if the current price per share is below where they purchased. So, um, CMF, looking to see this come back up to this 0.2 and beyond area, but as long as it doesn't go negative, that's what we're looking for. We want this to stay positive at least. Williams percent R has come down from the overbought level. Um, what we want to see in this indicator is we want to see oscillation, um, but we want to see it oscillating consistently in the overbought category. That's what's considered bullish for that momentum. Um, Short-term momentum is anything above negative 20 here. We want to see oscillation in that range as we did back here. So uh, that's that's what we want to watch for that indicator. Um, the ROC is heading into very volatile seas here. Uh, this zero area is a very, very volatile region. And um, when it spikes up, that's where the volatility is heading. So we want to see um, this indicator spike back up. Or if it continues to go down to the zero area, we want to see it stay. Um, we want to see it stay above zero, really. We want to see it bounce up and take another aggressive spike up um, as the share price kind of coils up this triple nine, triple zero nine area. Trix is a similar story to the MACD. It's also a short-term momentum indicator. We've got this uh, bullish crossover from back here still intact. We just want to see it hang, hang there. It's got a little less aggressive of a curl than the MACD right now. Um, so again, if it just kind of evens out or starts to curl back up, that's what we want to see. We want to see it stay above this white line. So, Seek, um, again, it has potential to bounce from this triple zero nine area. We just want to see that happen. Um, we want to see those triple zero nines hold. So that's what I, that's the main thing I would watch on this chart. Um, just going into next week, is I would like to see these triple zero nines hold. Um, so good luck trading, and um, make sure you view the disclaimer on the website um, as aforementioned before this video started. Thank you for watching. Good luck trading.